actually never used. It can still be created with command blocks, but the particle itself is removed in 1.13 due to the flattening of the particle. Skull painting kills it. The terrain in the background of the skull in the fire painting actually comes from a real Minecraft world, which was found by a player named Kminster on September 10, 2020. The world comes from before 1.1.2, and these two seeds both work to give you the world of the painting. Mogminer Minecraft Incident The Mogminer, also known as Ryan Holtz, was a game developer at Mojang working on the rendering engine for Minecraft. And on December 18, 2013, Ryan joined an unaffiliated Minecraft server assuming that it was the real one, then promptly released his anger both in the server and on Twitter when he didn't receive his proper donor request, since he took $500 to buy prior to joining. Chat logs seem to show him swearing at mods and using his Mojang status to demand for server rights. And sometime around January 2015, Ryan was ultimately fired from Mojang Studios. China appeasement. Some people speculate that the reason that sharks aren't being added to Minecraft and dolphins aren't being made writable is in order to appease China, as the Chinese river dolphin is critically endangered and that by adding sharks to Minecraft, it would only make the situation worse for the species. Alongside the fact that Minecraft China is a free version of Bedrock Minecraft with a whopping 300 million players, it makes sense why Mojang would want to cater to a player base this large. Xperia Play. The first ever release of Pocket Edition was on the Xperia Play via Google Play on August 16, 2011, and an Android version wouldn't come out until October 7th, and Pocket Edition didn't come to iOS until November 17th. Green Shrubs. Shrubs were added in 1.5, with a tinted green color that varied in saturation depending on the biome that it was in, and green ones are gradually phased out starting in 1.8, before being completely removed in 1.13. Mars Effect. Mars Effect is a website Nosh made for April 1st day of 2012, and the name is intentionally a play on Mass Effect as a reference to Bethesda filing a lawsuit against Mojang for their earlier game Scrolls, which had a similar name to the Elder Scrolls by Bethesda. And if you ask me, that is a stupid ass reason to sue somebody. Friends List. This is a feature in Pocket and Bedrock Edition that allows players to invite people to servers that the user creates. Chris Jelbring said that he was working on a friends list all the way back in 2013, even though it still doesn't exist in Java. Farther Lands. I mentioned earlier how there are way more Far Lands than just the original, and the Farther Lands are a second set of Far Lands that generate 80 times further than the first set, generating over a billion blocks away from the spawn. There's even further sets of far lands like this one, but those lands are so far away that they can't even be viewed in a normal world due to the chunk override limit occurring 34 billion blocks away, meaning that you would have to modify the noise in order to see them at all. Rare clay. In beta 1.6, clay would only generate underwater when the X and Z coordinates were the same, meaning that clay would be incredibly hard to find. In depth map customization. The end of map generation gave players multiple options for maps. Long and deep map shapes would make your world twice as long or twice as high, and besides the normal map theme, you could make a hell map where all of the water was replaced with lava, paradise where beaches were bigger and the plants were more abundant, and lastly, woods where trees generated much more frequently. There were a couple more map types than this, but these are just the main types of maps that you were able to make. Snow QR code. In 2015, the Love and Hugs update managed to hide a QR code within its version, and going towards the world spawn revealed a patch of land where some blocks would never have snowfall on them, but some of them would. This area eventually formed the shape of a QR code, which when scanned revealed this image, teasing the next major update. Calibrated Skulk Sensor The calibrated skulk sensor is an unused top and side texture for a block that seems to depict a sensor with an amethyst on the top of it. The block is actually useful in that it can filter which vibration frequency it detects through a resistance signal. Activation Patterns Every interdimensional portal in Minecraft borrows the same pattern of a ring of hard material with heat applied to it to generate the portal. Nether portals are made of obsidian and require a whereas end portals are made of indestructible frames and are positioned above a pit of lava. Even the end gate is made of bedrock and is activated once the dragon explodes onto it. Infinite Lava Source Back in Endev, 
A block called the Infinite Lava Source was added to player inventories, as well as chests in the Indent House, alongside the Infinite Water Source. The blocks would indefinitely spread in every way back up, but if left uncontained, the blocks could replicate to massive amounts. Droopy likes your face. This is a song by C418 that has some rather strange audio samples taken from a text-to-speech reader called the Magic One Speak and Learn, which could scan barcodes to read certain children's books out loud, including a book called The Droopy Dragon, which is the book used in the song. Ashes to Ashes. In the 2013 Halloween update, two audio files were found in the game files called Ashes 1 Ashes and Ashes 2 Ashes. The first clip seems to be only clicking noises, but the second clip seems to be of a man sobbing. Yeah, Isometric screenshot. In the indoor versions of Minecraft, pressing F7 will allow you to take an isometric screenshot of the map, rendering mods as well as any changes that were made to the world. There were a couple of bugs with this though, and for one, the player could only be rendered if you were in third person beforehand, and blocks were only rendered if they were in your field of vision. Nothing to solve. There's a hidden book in the Llama Dimension in Infinity Update that only says nothing to solve. Zero tick pulse. Zero tick pulses were a bug that allowed a redstone signal to turn on and off in the same tick. A simple way to make a zero tick machine would have been to have a repeater powering a block and a comparator activating a piston to move the block, depowering it in the process. Since comparators are prioritized after repeaters, the output will first turn on and then off, all in the same tick. And when activating a piston using a zero tick pulse, Push blocks are essentially teleported instantly, which also allowed dirt to be moved under crops without them popping off. This could have been exploited for farms, and Minecraft's code for crops contains a single procedure that both determines when to go to the next growth stage, as well as check if the block under it is dirt. And by using a zero tick piston to constantly move dirt blocks under these crops, the check procedure occurred but was tricked into going to the next growth stage, thus making incredibly fast farms. While farming with zero tick machines is patched from 16, the tick machines themselves still work. Shadow Seed. Every single world seed in Minecraft Java Edition has a shadow seed, which is pretty much a second seed that shares the exact same biome map, but has different terrain generation and different structure locations. Anthonym's video goes far more into detail than